Hi again, thought I would show you a little bit more about 3D sketching in Fusion. Uh, sometimes you need to, or you want to, remodel something that already exists. So in this case I have this object here, and I want to uh, create the surfaces that makes up this area. So the easiest way to do this is to go in and uh, create a sketch and a plane, and then you click on 3D sketch and then you go to the create and point tool and what you do then is you you go in and since you're in 3D mode you create a point where you want uh, the conduction points to be in the 3D space don't use project because if you use project it brings it to the plane that you're actually painting on so basically you are you are uh, you're, you're making points on each of these surfaces like that, like this, and then you're basically creating sketch points <laughs> in 3D space in relation to each other. What happens then is that you will uh, you will get a lot of 3D points like this that makes up 3D space. And you can draw lines between them in the 3D space between those points while you're using the 3D sketch mode. Now, there are some problems with this. One, you cannot create links between sketches. So, in this case, I have points on different sketches, like some points are on this one, some points are on this one, and some points are on this one. Uh, it cannot uh, associate and create uh, closed surfaces in sketch points between the sketches. So, what you can do is you can, like, you if you have all of these, you can create one new sketch and then on that new sketch you go in and you select create point and then you just re-click all the sketch points once that you have got what this will do is that you will end up when you when you're done with that you just disable the old sketches and you get like a point structure with these points now you would think that oh but I, I can now I can securely go and attach something to this but the problem is that it remembers the sketch points that was there before so to be able to draw solid faces like this you need to remove the obsolete sketch points so in this case I can show you because I have some sketches here and uh, because I, I already did it on these you will see that there are some sketch points but they all have a relation so those two have a relation and that one is the original sketch point I used to, to lock with and this one as well I will remove that but under here you can see you have several sketch points because it's black so what you need to do is right click and select one of them and then you take delete then you get a white sketch point like this and that is the only sketch point you have to lock with okay so let's do that for the next one as well and here you can see you have three of them yay so any of those three can potentially cause the surface that you're trying to make to not be a closed surface because you're basically linking through uh, what should I call it projected points that doesn't actually have a link to each other so what you need to do is you need to go in and you need to delete so you only have one remaining see now you have this three points each of them are on, on only one sketch point now to be sure which way I want this model to connect I can see that okay here I can complete that first so I'll just uh, remove that and I'll do a solid line from here to here and from here to here because I already went in there and fixed that and uh, let's see this point here goes to this point so it would be up here okay so I will try and do this surface here now let's see if I have the points for it I do have the points for it 
So I can do a triangle here and a triangle there. Let's try that. Actually, I think you could just lock this as a single point, L. See? I just use one surface. You understand? Now you're getting locked. And then let's see if we can get to the other points. The other points were down here. And you can see when you removed all the other uh, uh, remaining points, you can only see the two. So if I go in here like this, that should be the three points I have. So you can do L from this to this to this to this because I closed the I removed the obsolete sketch points uh, you will now see that you have created a surface okay so I want to point on these so create point this and this and uh, I don't want to do anything with that yet so I'll I'll check if I have those points. I have those points already. So I'll I'll make this, this and this. Okay, so let's remove that. I'll just remove any any uh, obsolete sketch points. Remember you need to leave one. And there is many The reason you get this is because you can not sort of physically in 3D space select the points from a different sketch but you don't actually create a, a reference to it so that it closes the surface. Okay, so now I did that. All of them should be just one. Okay, L. See, now you have a closed loop. Now let's see where it, this goes. It goes up to there and I need to make a closed space here. So from this one, from this one to this one, from this one to this one. Okay, so because those are already valid, I can just use those points because I already cleared them up earlier. And now you have the 3D sketch, a solid. So, how do I continue? I want to I want to have this as well. Um, basically, I struggled with this before because it's like I couldn't select all the points. Now, I already cleared up that one. I already have a solid one here. And I already have this one. So, let's start with this one. L. And that should go to this one. Let's see. And this one goes to this one. This one goes to that one. Okay, so there are some points here, most likely this one. Yes. You can do it on these as well, but then you really need to sort of see. When you see it has an association to a line, that means that that sketch point is in use. If there is not an association to a line, uh, then that is not something you can use. Okay, so now this, this, uh, this, 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 this. Okay, so uh, apparently there is something holding this back. Let's see if I missed a sketch point. Uh, okay, so one of these maybe.
once you have created the structure maybe it helps because you can go in and you can select that and make a line uh, and here you have three sketch points and I can try and delete that bone that didn't work so let's see L So you can see sometimes you struggle with the the associations. It's just one point there. Let's see if we can recreate it there. So we have this. Let's try and make a triangle instead. Sometimes you can do it if you use a triangle. So basically, it allowed you to do it as a triangle, but not the other way. That can mean that the surface is a little bit curved. Um, And and it's uh, normally it should shouldn't be a big problem, but you can see you managed to create the surfaces here. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how how it all works <coughs> with a sketch point in 3D space. <coughs> and all you now do you just go in and so if I just finish the sketch, you unselect any non-needed sketches and then you can just select the surfaces you want as faces you can patch it and because you did all the way you did you can you can easily just go and uh, and, uh, and and stitch it afterwards because all the points are in relation to each other okay hope you uh <coughs> Hope you like this little uh, tutorial and uh, see you in the next one.